major benefit of TalkTablet is the fact that you can have multiple vocabularies or multiple users using the same iPad and nobody needs to be using each other's vocabulary. They're completely separate. Let me show you how, it, uh, how simple that is to do. Uh, let me come out to the opening screen. If I click here on TalkTablet, it goes into whatever the last vocabulary it was that you were using. However, if I press here on settings at the bottom, and I have a password set, but you can turn that on or off. That keeps one user out of another user's settings or vocabularies. If I look here, it says current users, default user. That's the sample boards that we include with this. Uh, this is another sample, and here's another user I've added called Madison. If you wanted to add a new user called, um, we'll say Taylor, I just touch here, add user. I type in here Taylor. Or you could type in here uh, autistic child or spectrum or aphasia client or whatever you wanted to do. You could add as many as many vocabularies as you want. And they're all completely separate. I hit OK. There's Taylor. So I touch on Taylor. Check mark shows up. And then I can start. I hit on main page. And I'm good to go. Here's the main page for Taylor. I can start adding buttons and pages if I want. It's, it's that simple. Now what you will notice too is that, a little, little side note here, is that when you're in settings, for example, of um, Taylor, I could choose Paul's voice or Kate's voice and have my own settings. This is a test. That's Kate, okay. And then I could, uh, okay, so that's Taylor, and I've given her that voice. If I went out into a different user, and I will come out, and I will choose the sample user. Well, let's choose uh, Madison. Hi there. Madison has a different voice. So you can see how the settings, the voice, the speed, the pitch, everything the symbols, everything is completely separate for the different users. About me.